Hi, Dr. Usha. Very nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. I'm Kavita from Life by E-Commerce. It's an honor to have you here with us today. Of course. Please introduce yourself and tell us your story. Okay, before I go on to that, let me just show you around. All right, sure. So, have a seat. Thank you, Doctor. Doctor Usha, thank you so much for the tour. We must say you have a very beautiful clinic here. Thank you so much. Okay, so as our industry expert today, I have prepared a few questions to ask you. Okay. Shall we go? Of course. Okay. So my first question to you is: okay. How has aesthetic beauty and med spa industry has evolved in recent years, and what emerging trends do you foresee shaping its future? Okay, when we talk about um, aesthetic beauty and med spa industry, right? We do notice that the growth has been exponential and it's phenomenal because we do know that uh, the market for the demand is always there for people beautifying us, especially post pandemic where you see this Zoom boom. You know, after us being on the Zoom, we realize that you know we really need to look better, and of course there is. Um, Advanced technology, as compared to 10 years ago, there's so many advanced technology which is available now. And when we look at uh, aesthetic industry, right, uh, in in the recent year, the the data shows that it's about 60 billion. They have made 60 billion USD, and we are looking at the compound annual growth rate of about 10 percent. And in next three years, it's going to boom up to about 100 billion dollars. Wow! So the market is huge. And if you were to ask me, what are the trends? So, because I've been practicing aesthetic for a very long time, the trend is always changing. So, if you ask me, the latest trend now is basically patients are um, they want a more hyper personalized treatment. That means they want to look like themselves, yeah. but they just want to look a little bit their younger age, you know. And they go more for natural products. They want regenerative medicine. So all this trending and men. Uh, there's the, there's the stigma like before this aesthetic is only supposed to be for women. A lot of men are coming in for aesthetic practice, which is very new. So I think as a practitioner, for us, we have to be very open to see what we can do and what we cannot do. But the most important thing, do it safely. For business enthusiasts, okay. please advise on how to build a network, collaborate and stay updated, excel in this evolving industry. Okay, actually the reason we do networking, collaboration and all those things is mainly just for us to have a lead a generation, yeah? for us to actually change whoever that we're seeing into a paying client. So for me, I think networking is very important for us to build a long-lasting relationship. So the online presence, like I explained, yeah, social media presence is very, very important for us to create this. And when we actually attend the offline uh, seminars, workshops, conferences, it's very important for us to prepare our pitch so we know what we're talking, we know what to deliver to who we speak, and always bringing the business card, okay, and passing to them. And the most important thing is, a lot of us just pass it, but we forget following up. So for me, I always follow up with my contacts, you know, and, and I think that is important to bring for you new clients. Okay, and it's very important when we do networking, we always see people from other diverse, uh, you know, uh, group of work. So very important for us to respect what they do and share knowledge. So I think uh, in my practice, when I meet people, right, it's very important for me also to actually seek advice. Mm -hmm. A lot of us don't do that because sometimes you think you already know everything. Mm -hmm. So they don't seek advice. And for me, I do a lot of trainings. And whenever I do trainings, I always ask them, what is your feedback? How can I improve myself? How can I deliver this better to you for you to understand? So it's important for us to have all that when we do networking. Yeah, and uh, I think being humble is very important in, in whatever that you do in your business. So I think that, that partly concludes, you know, this whole thing. And yeah. Well say Dr. Usha. So before we conclude our segment today, do you have anything else to add? I think the one thing that I want to tell those people who are starting, you know, business enthusiasts and all, is always try to be different. Okay, it's not, it doesn't matter who you are or who you want to be. What is very, very important is actually how you are perceived by others, you know, that really matters. 
Thank you. With that amazing note, this segment has come to an end. Thanks for being here and answering all my questions patiently. Pleasure. I personally learned a lot from about this industry from your answers. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I'll see you shortly in our upcoming segment. Thank you. All right. The aesthetics, beauty and medicine spa industry is rapidly flourishing. As trends and technology from various parts of the world circulate, they bring about transformative changes in everyday beauty and care routines. Let's find out what role e-commerce plays in the aesthetics, beauty and medicine spa industry in our next segment. empowers the beauty and medicine spa industry by offering a dynamic platform to reach a broader audience, drive sales, enhance customer experiences and stay competitive in the rapidly evolving digital landscape. We have with us today our esteemed digital mentor, professional technologist, accredited trainer, digital marketing coach and certified digital transformation professional. He's here today to enlighten us on the essential steps for taking our businesses on the digital world. Let's welcome our digital mentor, T.S. Sasi Daran Sri Daran, fondly known as Tegu Sasi. Hello, Tegu Sasi. Hi. I'm Kavita. Hi. Thank you for joining us today on Lifepal E-Commerce. Thank Please you. Please take a seat. Okay, Tegu Sasi, as our digital mentor today, I have a series of questions to ask you regarding our topic, today's topic. So, shall we start? Sure. Okay, my first question to you is, what are the key steps to consider when setting up an e-commerce platform for a beauty and medicine spa business? So mainly for the beauty and uh, medispa business, a uh, website is an essential uh, platform for them to run their own uh, business, right? And uh, the main thing is uh, when it comes to website, there are a few uh, features that they need to include it, okay? especially when it comes to design and also the functionality of the website, right? So uh, the design must be attractive and the functionality must enable the uh, clients to have a look and enable them to join their, their system all right and also to to purchase the uh, uh, products or the services right and uh, also the features and the integration of the website is uh, very very crucial why because uh, the features of the website must uh, enable the uh, clients to actually uh, involve in the website's activities especially when it comes to the sales marketing campaigns and all that all right and uh, they will also have a lot of plugins that they can integrate together to make sure that uh, all the clients who are engaging with their website will eventually purchase it purchase their product or engage with their services thank you for your answer chikasasi okay moving on to my next question how can a beauty and medicine spa business effectively showcase and promote their products and services on an e-commerce platform all right so basically when it comes to e-commerce platform it all comes with the website right and also to have a website website is actually a standalone uh, platform where it actually owns by that particular uh, company itself right so it's not a third party platform so we must actually engage with another third party websites uh, websites such as uh, platforms all right such as uh, social media and all that right and uh, mainly to have uh, uh, innovative uh, creation of their uh, designs, all right? So they will run a lot of campaigns, promotions in social media by creating uh, visual campaigns, posters and uh, some videos and all that. So uh, basically, social media marketing plays a huge role in, in when it comes to you know enhancing e-commerce website because a website is a standalone platform. So it needs uh, an engine, all right, to drive the marketing outside of the website. Because many people, many companies, they are creating a website, but then when they don't drive the traffic into their website, how come the, the people, actually the clients can know about the website itself or even about the company and the services, right? So we need an additional third party uh, solutions where there's a common one that currently become trending is the social media marketing, right? So there's a lot of platforms in social media. So it depends on which platform that they are engaging and how the, the contents they are creating, the contents based on the, their services and all that will be attractive for the clients for them to engage with their business. Okay, take a So, moving on to my last question for you. How can data analytics and customer insight be leveraged to enhance overall customer experience and optimize product offering in an e-commerce platform? Alright. 
So data analytic is uh, something that like we are collecting the data of the clients of their their behavior, their purchase, uh, um, their purchase characteristics, and all all that, right? So uh, when it comes to leveraging part, always it is important to collect the data and to analyze the data. Okay, why? Because when there is an e-commerce platform, we are selling something, we are selling a product or services or something, right? The first purchase when the person done, we will get some reviews and everything from that, right? Based on that data, how does the data, how does the reviews happen when it comes to the product, the services, the logistics, everything will be taken count. And that the data will actually uh, eventually in, improve the next sales comes in. So whatever, the, always when it comes to the first uh, e-commerce website, when they uh, try to promote their first e-commerce website, there will be a lot of hiccups here and there. So how they improve it is by doing data analytics. So by uh, gathering all the data, by doing analysis, by improving out all the uh, downfalls, all right, so definitely they can improve their e-commerce website from time to time. And that is where they will actually build their customer-based markets. Nice, Chigusasi. Before I conclude our segment, do you have anything else to add? Actually, yes. Uh, basically, when it comes to e-commerce uh, marketing, of course, uh, social media plays a big role. And even social media's uh, website, the SEO search engines, everything plays a huge role in that. And uh, I would always recommend uh, the, the uh, platform owners to continuously create their paid marketings, right, and also improve their SEOs. Whenever they are engaging more in this kind of ads, to reach more potential clients, all right, this will definitely improve their client base. And also, the more the reviews that they got from the clients, even though it's in good or bad, definitely by doing some analysis and doing some uh, improvements, they can eventually improve their uh, platforms and definitely will gather more clients with them. Thank you so much, Ikisasi. This has been a very eye-opening session for me and as well as our audience. So thank you so much for sharing your invaluable knowledge with us. I'll see you again in our upcoming session. Sure. All right. Sure. Thank you very much. Next, we will present the Zero to Hero segment, introducing our heroes of the beauty and medispa industry. Our guests will share with you their outstanding business and their journey from where they began and where they are today. We will see you after this break. a million dollars and boost confidence of many, a beauty and medispa business can lead customers to a brilliant, sparkling moment of confidence in their lives. For a business entrepreneur, this journey can pave the way for success if executed well. To build a thriving beauty and medispa business is an ease. Joining us today, a husband and wife team, an amazing duo in partnership since 2017 from the world of beauty and medispa. Let's find out how they have successfully been in their business and how e-commerce has advanced their business to the success they are today. Let's meet Dr. Siti Maria and Dr. Ahmad Zailani. Hello, Dr. Maria. Hello. Hello, Dr. Zailani. Hello. I'm Kavita from Lifestyle E-Commerce. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Uh, thank you for inviting me for this program. No problem at all. Doctors, please tell us your story and your journey in this industry. My name is Dr. Ahmad Zalani Nesokri. I am a medical doctor, co-founder and CEO of Angun Aesthetics in Elmer Hat. Uh, we are doing an aesthetic clinic, which is Angun Medical Clinic. We have uh, two branches in Shalam and Wasamaju. We are focusing in uh, skin pigmentation, skin problem, uh, facial beauty and also uh, anti-aging. Thank you so much for sharing your impressive journey with us. Now we are going to meet our digital mentor and our industry expert, shall we? Yes. Okay. Let's go. Hello. Okay, Dr. Maria and Dr. Zailani with our digital mentor, Chegu Sashi. Hi, Sashi. And our industry expert, Dr. Usha. Hi, Tusha. Meeting you. Hi, Sashi. Okay, let's begin our segment today. Doctor, do you have any questions to ask them? Okay, in your opinion, right, what are the most um, profitable treatment or services that you can offer in aesthetic practice and how you actually decide which one you want to incorporate into your practice? Okay, the most profitable uh, service and also treatment in aesthetic industry is based on 
uh, patient needs, um, latest technology, and also the market trend. Uh, Botox and pillow so far is the most uh, profitable and also the most popular in the market now. Because uh, Botox and uh, filler is a quick procedure, you can see visible result. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also reduce the wrinkles and also uh, replace the volume that customer needs. Other than that, laser and also skin rejuvenation also give good result for uh, skin pigmentation, scar and other acne. Mm -hmm. This also uh, give good profitable and um, the market is uh, a lot of customer with this problem. So uh, other than that, uh, we also have facial for face rejuvenation. In one session, they can get uh, better skin texture, hydration, and also skin brightening. So it gives the most profitable also. And we also, uh, the hair removal, yeah. uh, because of the uh, current trend uh, and current fashion, so uh, it's good for market now. All right, thank you, Dr. Maria. Doctors, do you have any questions to Digital Mentor today? Okay, I have last question to Cik Usashi. Okay. Cik Usashi, how can we improve our e-commerce platform to increase our business presence and also attract more customers? All right, Doctor. So the first thing is when it comes to an e-commerce website, you are creating a website, so website must have equipped with an SEO system, search engine optimization. Why? Because whenever people are searching something online, all right, you must be ranked at one of the top in the search engines. So that is where people try to reach you easily, you know. So when it comes to SEO, there's a lot of uh, keyword place roles and uh, it always takes effect with the search engines like Google, Yahoo, Bing and all that, right? So when an e-commerce is already optimized with SEO and whenever your products and services is also in plan with all the keywords, right? When people search something related about it, automatically it pops. So that is where you come, you know, you can easily, people can, can find you easily. So normally for myself, that's how people do. So they will always search for me or search for my related services and that's it output. And the, the best part is you are actually paying for the provider, which is your uh, e-commerce platform provides. Uh, you don't need to pay for any paid advertisement, paid advertisers or anything. That is one part. Okay. Another part to enhance it, that is where we do the ads and we run into the uh, copywriting system, the content creations and all that. And the marketing is really, really essential. Many people don't know about that, that part. They thought that only one time they do some sales and everything, that's enough. No. Actually, when it comes to sales, you need the marketing and eventually that marketing must lead to a branding. So branding is your final uh, touch where continuously, continuous marketing actually will lead to a branding. So when it comes to a branding, you already brand yourself as you are one of the top in this industry, right? So automatically your marketing works. But you cannot still, you can't stop your marketing. You still need to run it. Your purchase, your, your buy and sell in your e-commerce platforms, everything must be enhanced from time to time according to the current trend. You can't be doing the same website now and 10 years later. 10 years later, the, the colors, themes, and everything is going to change. The visual appearance are all going to change. And now with the AI appearance, everything is even getting so much better and so much innovative. So you must be changing according to the uh, current change of the world. All right, so that's how you actually uh, improve your e-commerce and improve your sales and always be there at the top in your market. That's the best strategy to be done, All right? Okay, thank you so much, Chigus Uh Any more questions from your side? No more questions. All right, so with that, this Zero to Hero segment comes to an end. Thanks to all of you for being here and sharing your knowledge with all of us. It has been a very insightful session. So thank you so much to each and every one of you. Thank you. We hope you had a fulfilling experience and gained valuable views of everyone. Thank you. We are witnessing the massive growth of the beauty and medicine spa industry across Malaysia, driven by innovative technologies and treatment methods. The surge in demand has attracted a variety of clientele and new players. To leverage this playing field, grasp the evolving role of marketing, especially digital marketing, as competition intensifies amidst expanding consumer base. You will need to update your marketing just like you update your spa to thrive in this dynamic industry. And thus, we wrap up our show. I'm Kavita, your host, signing off. We look forward to seeing you. Thank you for watching Lifestyle E-Commerce.